to another video. Today we are finally gonna be taking out all the Halloween stuff and putting up all of the, let's say yearly decor. It's just nice to come home and look at different decor rather than looking at the decor you so used to since it's year round. So I love that. It's a little change for me. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's put away the yearly decor, gather it up in one section. You guys know how I like to do it. Put it in my kitchen counter and then bam, take out the Halloween stuff. And as you guys can see, those boxes, we got three boxes for Halloween. Put it away my yearly decor. I've been wanting to get like a Halloween stand because you guys know I have a Christmas stand, but I don't know if it's worth it for Halloween. We're gonna leave the candle out for now and then, I don't know. Now this for sure, I want this to go. This is not gonna match Halloween. Is this spooky to you guys? This is not spooky. I'm also putting away this because this is not spooky. Flowers are not spooky. I'm gonna leave this here for now because I don't know where I would put it. So we're just gonna leave that from there for now. from Easter, what the heck. <laughs> and I guess while we're here, we can also take these out because we are going to be doing other colors for, I mean, uh, other wallflower, wallflower plugs. So this is all of the yearly decor we're gonna be putting away, which, wow, y'all see that? That's not a lot and we still have a lot of space. I just spaced it out so it would look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away and then we can move forward to putting up all the Halloween stuff. I'm keeping this one because I remember that I got some orange balls. So this can be out because I will take out some balls and then replace them with orange balls. So, all right, here are the boxes. Let's move them to the couch. Well, I'll put it here. 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 Let me show you guys everything that we have for Halloween. We got these three boxes. Plus the stuff that I bought that I showed you guys in the last video. My epic broom. I also found this. My OG pumpkin. With, ta-da! A pumpkin and the matching set. Salt and pepper. We love that. And then, bam. This is Christmas and then this is Halloween, obviously. So, yep. How could I forget? I believe I also have some spooky blankets maybe just one so technically i only have a spooky blanket just one but i like to dull down the colors a little more for halloween either halloween colors or dull it down like this all right now with everything going on i'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed but we will work through this together excuse the mess i just washed dishes so i'm gonna go ahead and put this piece right in the corner right there gorgeous oh i forgot to mention i also found my spooky halloween mug while i was up there digging so say hello to mickey as far as the wallflower plugs i just realized i honestly have no halloween plugs besides this fall one so we're gonna put this one out i'm thinking i put this one in the bathroom then i also went and took this off the wall because you know butterflies no this is not spooky so i have this one's not spooky, but this one is dark. And like I told you guys, I like to tone down the colors. So we're going to put this one up. And we can do this one right now, actually. Bam. Then I also got out all of my fall candles slash Halloween. We got leaves. This one was already out, actually. We got sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Fresh fall morning. And then I just got white pumpkin. My pumpkin smells really good. This is debatable, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I know this one is not a Halloween item. It would look better if the rat was a different color of the shirt. So I wanna put it out right now for the Halloween decor. I know it's a Halloween decor, guys, but I'm trying to use my decor, okay? So this is gonna go here in the kitchen. We're gonna go ahead and put leaves up there and put this away. So this is already one major piece for the 
main entrance. So bam, we gotta put this right here. And then, this isn't a Halloween item. This is, I don't even know, what, I guess the statue decor, whatever you guys wanna call it. I love this so, so much. And it actually kinda looks spooky. It's kinda giving spooky vibes with the eyes. So we're gonna put that out because it's orange and purple. And I love purple, and the orange gives it that spooky look. And the eyes, okay? It's actually beautiful, it's not scary. It's actually very, very beautiful. I'm gonna see where I'm gonna put this. Don't know yet, I don't wanna put it here, because I just don't. Put this aside for now. Yeah, until I can figure out what's with this. Then we got some cashmere woods, bam. So we're gonna be spraying this at the end. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change out the rest of the candles for the other room. So we're gonna put this one in the bedroom. We're gonna store these two until one of these runs out. Now, as far as these balls, what we can do is, I got them a little pouch here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to keep the earthy tones in here. We got some green balls and then the cone, pine cones, I think that's what they're called. So that's one. And this is what they look like, by the way. These are different sizes. Two, three, four, and yeah, this is what they look like. They're not perfect. I will keep playing with them, but not right now. This is that's not priority right now. Very cute, very cute. All right. Let me see if I can find some more. I'm sure the other ones are packed in the box, so we won't worry about that just yet. We are going to bring in this gray one. I'm gonna leave the Halloween one out, just because. I want to put it on the couch. There we go. I think what I'll do is I'll move this checkered or and I'll put it in here. Let me get a bag. So I'm going to put all the pieces in this bag. to go in with my pledge get the bottom two let's move these coasters let's clean the bottom of the table and now we are good to go let's go ahead and put this table runner here this is from cynthia Row rowley and it's a table runner that glows in the dark here are the tags and it was only $15. Run to your home goods. And then remind me to show you guys what this looks like with all the lights turned off. It is getting dark, so it's gonna be perfect. If it does glow in the dark, we should be able to see it. Ooh, spooky. And I don't know if you guys can see the little green layovers between all of the ghosts, but that's what makes it glow in the dark. Let's do this box first. Let's see what we got. All right, we got this little guy. I'm gonna put him outside. Oh, here's the wreath. I was looking for it, guys. All right, the wreath. We're gonna put this outside. We got this funny sign. I believe maybe it was last year. I can't 100% remember, but I got this because I thought it was funny. <laughs> the neighbors have the good candy. This was from Dollar Tree. This, I believe, was from Hobby Lobby. This giant spider my mom gave to me, so I have no clue where like where she got it from, but got a giant spider. We have a wizard hat. I guess this is gonna be the vibe for the rest of the video. We're witches. We are some bad witches. Okay, back to business, back to business. <laughs> then we have this skull. I'm gonna put him outside as well. I like to put this in one of my empty pots. So we're gonna be doing that this year as well. He's laughing, ha 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 ha. I think this is all my outside stuff. So maybe I should just leave this in the box. But I'm, I want to show you guys regardless. So this is another spider. Ooh. Another head that I like to do sticking out of the pots. Oh my god, the famous doorbell. Oh my gosh, I love this doorbell. Look. Oh. I need to change the battery on it. So it opens up and it'll make a sound. Oh my god. Guys, it broke. Oh no. My mom made me this. This is a owl. It's like a, a owl wreath. Then we have a dead cat. I believe it's a cat, yes. Then we 
have these little, oh my god, I forgot about these. Let me steal. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Then we have this sign that says hello fall. I'm not a big fan of signs, but my mom gave me this, so I'll use this. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna hang it up yet. We have this really ugly mask. Very ugly, I don't know. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Oh, this is a spooky witch. Oh my god. She is just, her hair, come on, man. We can have her hanging somewhere outside we have this i'm probably gonna hang this somewhere on the door then i have a lot of jokes with this mask this mask has so many jokes that i cannot get rid of it it has so many jokes with family with friends it's so funny so i'm gonna keep this and then some what is this some spider web i don't know this just looks messy so i am gonna get rid of this Got this little hat that I like to put on one of my plants. Then we have this little trick-or-treat basket that I just use for nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't use it for anything, to be honest. I'll see what I use it for. I might just put it outside and put a pot. Ooh, you know what? That's what I'll do. I should put a pot in here. Put my cactus pot because I don't. I only need to water it once a week. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Let's do that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the stuff that's going to go outside. So let's put this back in the box. Okay, why is... Okay. We're just gonna let it be. So how we're doing this is we're gonna unbox everything and then put everything where it needs to go. It's just easier for me. Okay, don't worry. These two should be inside boxes. All right, we got a pillow. Ooh, my spooky pillow. I gotta see how I can clean it because I know it looks white on camera, but it's not looking so white in person. I forgot about this pillow. I love this pillow. It's so cute. And it matches the ghosties on the table. This one I like to put in the bathroom because it looks like it's pooping. I did this last year and I'm gonna do it again this year. So that's its toilet. <laughs> I don't know. I just make stuff up. For Thanksgiving, we got this little guy right here. Then this pumpkin, I think. This is from Target. I can't remember all the way. Then this owl my mom gave me. Ooh, then we got these three pumpkins. I think these three pumpkins were in the dollar section in the bullseye area last year at Target. We got the wet one, the orange one, and I got the blue one. Let me just get this first. Oh my God. I hear the phone. I remember the phone. Someone's calling, got pick up. You just let it go to voice mail? That's messed up. They're calling. Pick up, girl. They're gonna kill us if you don't pick up. Okay, these are for you to put a little candle and bam, you got some leaves decor right there. Then we got my OG owls. We got two of these, got two owls. And these are the candles that I have for Halloween. I got these from Ikea. I have so many pumpkins, it's crazy. I have so many. I don't need more pumpkins, clearly. And that's all that's in this box. And here we have, let's see. Oh my God. <gasps> Guys, it's that bad that I have so much stuff that I forgot that I have a Halloween stand. That is insane. So we're gonna get rid of the clock and put the clock in the bedroom. That's what I'm gonna do. And we have this other Thanksgiving one. Okay, I honestly don't want two Thanksgiving things. Which one do I like more? This one looks way cooler. But so does this one. But this one doesn't have a lot of color. I don't know, they're both cute. This one's a little more dull, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. We're gonna keep this guy. Oh, then we have my uh, my pumpkin candle. Got this candle. I think it. I used up all of it, but I like to keep it for decor. And this was from Target, the threshold line for $10. And then I have my two kitchen whatever these are i don't know i forgot what they're called oh and i have my other runner so this is another runner oh i forgot about my spooky holder i forgot i, I thought i never bought this this is a soap holder i'm extra of course this is from bath and body works by the way and i can't remember how much it was probably too much oh my god this little guy oh my god hold on guys are you ready for this don't fail me
See, he killed it. He killed it. You did great. He is so cute. They have other ones, but this is the cutest one. And it has purple eyes and it dances the best out of all the brothers. I got him at TJ Maxx last year. Let me get the phone before they call us again and you don't pick up. but you have to pick up while you dial the numbers. I got this one at at home. I love this for decor. I'm not sure where I'm, where I'm gonna put it just yet, but we shall see. Okay, then we have this. I like to hang this off of a shelf, off of a somewhere where it has surface and it can hang off. Very cute, it's a hat with legs. And then I got this. This was for $2. I don't know what to use this for. I can't remember what I used it for last time, so. I don't know. I might get rid of this. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh my god, is this? This looks like Christmas, y'all. This is a little embarrassing. Yep. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that is. This is literally all Christmas. I am so sorry. In my defense, the box literally says Halloween. Literally. Can y'all see that? Halloween. Embarrassing. I'm so sorry. And the box is orange. But. We have a lot to work with. Pillow stays right there, and then we have to figure out the rest. I feel like I had a lot more stuff last year, but I feel like we all say that every year whenever we're unboxing things. It's like, hmm, I thought I had more. But the reality is, I did clutter. Let's start with these mats. I'm gonna put this one away. I may keep that one depending on how I feel. I don't know. Okay, before I put the rug down, I'm gonna sweep. Got the scissors and I got this one from Home Goods and it was $29.99. Wow, it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I would put it like this, but that would cause too many issues and it would get way dirtier. So let me show you how it looks like without it. I think it looks better without it because it's less. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments, please. Next, we're gonna take care of this. We're using leaves again. Cute. We're in the lab room, and this is where the clock is gonna go. And I am putting the new sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle. And actually, this works great because my grandpa, he loves watches, just like me. So I know he's gonna appreciate this. Let's put this under the table. Let's put this here. And if you guys can remember, this is actually broken. The vase of it is broken, but if you put it on this side, you can't see it. Yeah, you guys see how it's broken? We're gonna put that there. I'm gonna put this away. This is going to the bathroom. This, I'm probably gonna put somewhere in the kitchen. I want these three pumpkins here because it adds color. And then I'll probably do this. So I'll put a one owl right there. Maybe I should do the ends, yeah, the ends. Does that look better, y'all? Does that look good? I think this little guy should go. I'm gonna put him right by the plants. Over here, I'm thinking we do something different. I'm thinking we put this here. Let's see. Okay, it's too short. I would say we put it under here, but that's doing too much. Well, I guess I'll just store it for now. Thinking we put this on top of the mirror. All right, so that's where we're gonna put the hat. It better not make my mirror fall. So for the kitchen, we have these two pumpkins right there. Oh, I actually have an idea. What about if we do this? This one and this one. Oh my God, like that. And then, what do y'all think? I think that's cute. And then I'm gonna put this away for now. This is just to show you guys that I have it. Then I put the salt and pepper right there. This is what the kitchen is looking like. I don't like to put too much in the countertops because the countertop space is limited. So we cook around here, okay? While we're in the kitchen, 
And I feel like towels are never perfect, so we're gonna be using these towels, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm thinking I put these two down there. And then I'm gonna put this right here. And as far as the spooky broom, I'm actually gonna put the spooky broom over here by the mirror for now. Cute. I decided to put that vase right there slash plant holder. Now, I want to change these pillowcases. I think I'm also going to get rid of this sign that says hello fall. I'm going to do the phone right there. These pillows are from Ikea. They're very, very cheap. And so are the pillow covers as well from Ikea. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if I like the blanket, like how it is. Sometimes leaving it messy is good. Y'all see that? This is what the living room area is going to look like. You just have this to hang up on one of the doors or use one of these command strip things. I hope this is center because it's not moving. That's what it looks like. And I was going to say we are done, but I have an idea. I have this tabletop easel and let me show you guys what I'm going to do with it. Got it from Walmart. Here it is. It's a clear stand. I'm thinking... That is so cute. We have that plate and we have the other plate. Let me show you guys the other plate. Do you guys think this one looks better? I have a feeling that that one just looks better actually. So I'm gonna leave that one up, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like that one up there? Or do you guys like this one? All right, you guys, and that concludes today's Halloween decorate with me and undecorate as well, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for more decorate declutter, cleaning, shop with me's, all that good stuff. And please stick to the end so you guys can see a walkthrough of everything that we did, as well as the glow in the dark table map, okay?